Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the Planners Anonymous Into the Wild kit. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, before I show you the Into the Wild kit, I'm just very quickly going to show you uh, this extra bonus item that uh, Sammy and Michael have sent, uh, or Planners Anonymous have sent. Uh, this is a spare, <laughs> It's a spare one of the Go Wild planners. Uh, it was missing its little um, baggie and it's got a couple of little, you know, defections on here. I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. So uh, Michael asked if I would like it uh, and the answer to that question was yes. So just to so show you what it looks like, it is the standard size. It is a bit flat because it's been posted. Uh, I find that these regain their shape very easily once you start putting stuff into it. It's just that it's flat at the moment. I love, I'm just going to move that out of the way, um, love the print. It's very much like Girl Strip. That's the kit that it kind of takes after. Uh, beautiful purples and blues uh, and a little bit of pink, but mainly purples and blues. So you've got that leopard print kind of on the front and the back. You've got a pink, and oh, purple, we'll go lilac, uh, kind of spine. And then when you open her up, you've got the blue, you've got the light purple and then you've got the dark purple trim which I just love you've got the pocket and then you've got a big pocket at the back so you can really chunk this up you've got your TN strings so if you are a traveler's notebook person you can put these in here you can also put a bunch of other planners in here if you didn't know you can put discs in here I'm just grabbing this this is obviously going to be too big but you could easily pop this in there it's got plenty of room it will live quite happily in there, mine's just a bit big. Um, so you can put those in there, but you can also put the rings. Now for anyone wondering, at the moment the rings are not in the shop. So if you're a, a Melody person, like I'm a Melody person, um, and you're looking for a new set of rings, there are none in the Planners Anonymous store right now. Um, they are part of what's being transferred over to the new warehouse, and we don't want to put them, we, they don't want to put them on sale until they are actually officially there and purchasable by you. So just hold fire if you need a set of rings. They will be back very, very soon. And you've got a big pocket over this side. You have your strap on the back, which has is on elastic, so it can is able to be chunked up. And then on the back, you have that leopard print again as well. Gorgeous, t gorgeous melody. I keep calling it a TN. It's not. Gorgeous melody. I'm so glad it's in my collection now. Very, very pretty. But we're not here to see this. Uh, they are available still online if you are interested. Uh, but we are not here to see that. We are here to see these goodnesses. Um, and I'm so excited to show you I've forgotten to take everything out of the bag. So hold on one second. Well, I just get those out. It's noisy. So we'll start off with the standard kit. Now, this is a very wintry kit, which right now in Australia feels a bit weird. But I am dying for this. There are some beautiful, beautiful colours. I love the critters. I love the artwork in this. I've seen lots of sneak peeks of this one, so I'm very excited. Uh, we'll start with the pen. So we've got silver hardware and a little, uh, like a teal blue kind of barrel. And you've got white and teal gems in there. There are also some sort of dark greeny teal ones in there as well. Very, very pretty. Then the bonus item is another paper clip. This one, I love these paper clips, especially this one is gorgeous. So first off, can we just have a look at the beautifulness that is these snowflakes on this backing paper? Like, oh my god! I really hope that's a paper, a paper in here. I don't know if it is yet. I haven't. I've seen sneaks. I haven't seen the whole kit. I I deliberately avoid it. Uh, so you got one of the big paper clips. You have some gemstones, and you have an absolutely gorgeous little snowflake it is a silver snowflake and it's very pretty I'm gonna to move to the stamps because I'm really excited by these stamps so we've got three feathers we've got some critters so we've got four owls we've got one sort of standing up one who looks like he's dancing in the snow one who looks like he's in a bit of a snow globe and then one who looks cranky we've got a little husky we've got a set of three little snowflakes some paws some snow. Oh, I so know what I'm doing. Oh, that just came to me. Uh, some little dots. And this is a positive sign. And I love, I love, let me just check. I'm sure I'm right, but I'm just going to check. <laughs> yes. 
So the this is a positive sign actually comes out of the middle. So you can stamp whatever you like with the sign because it doesn't have to say this is a positive sign. Uh, you've also got two big snowflakes, one gigantic snowflake, a very, very gorgeous snow globe, and like a mountain and tree scene. That is stunning. That is one very pretty stamp set. Oh, and a sign that says let it go. Because, you know, frozen, winter, Disney. I didn't say it. Uh, <laughs> then we have our art card and our die cuts. Oh, my goodness. I, oh, I cannot wait to get this art card up on my wall. Uh, so you guys will see. I have actually filmed it. I've bumped it back because I'm putting this up instead. Um, I have done a re... Like a, a very... Sh no, it's not very short. Uh, but I have redone my office tour. And you will see that I put the art card each month. I, I put the art card each month in a frame that lives on my wall. And that way I know which kit I'm up to and which kit I should be using. And I use it to inspire myself. This is just stunning. Like, she is amazing. And this mountainscape with the beautiful, um, what do they call it in the States? This is a stream? Is that what we call it? But like a creek, river, whatever you want to call it. It's just gorgeous. I love the blues and the greens. They are so pretty. So you've got the gorgeous girl on one side and you've got the this is a positive sign on the back. And then let's have a look at these die cuts. What have we got here? So we have a window scene. And if that's not dying to be called made a shaker, I don't know what is. Oh my goodness. We have a gorgeous, big, floral kind of thing with blues and pinks and, of course, the greens, some flowers, some snowflakes of different sizes, some more flowers. I feel like there's going to be a lot of snowflakes here. Uh, we've got our girl, who almost looks like she's got wings. They almost look like angel wings. I'm sure that's the coat, but it just it, there's something about that that's very pretty. And is she not wearing a jumper? I think she's not wearing a jumper. That might be a bit weird of her, but anyway. Uh, we've got some boots. We've got some trees. Feathers. More snowflakes. More flowers. We've got a gorgeous little owl. I'm going to call the owl Hedwig because it looks like Hedwig. Uh, some husky. Or a husky. We've got a gorgeous big... Um, oh, what is that thing called? Come on, me. Use my brain. Like a, a wood... Panel, not panel. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, more snowflakes. We have a minis. I said a minis. We've got a bit of foliage, which is really nice because we don't see foliage all that often. Got a nice jump bar. Some more snowflakes. Another feather. Another snowflake. Another feather. <laughs> more snowflakes. More flowers. More. F um, we've got a nice thing of hot chocolate, and that definitely looks like hot chocolate to me. We have another husky down here, two more snowflakes that are small, and then two sort of biggish ones as well. That is a gorgeous collection of die cuts. I cannot get over that floral. But then I also love that big scene too. Oh, this is going to be fun. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like there's more die cuts there than normal. I'm sure there's not, but it just it feels all those little ones seem to sort of make it feel like there's more than normal. Oh, big pile. All right, so then let's move over to the washi tapes. I have just seen one of these. And, and you guys, don't, I don't even need to tell you, you know which one I'm going to be in love with here. So I'll start off with the standard one, and this has a whole bunch of owls um, all standing in a row. This is going to be so pretty when you put it. Oh, my God. So you have a whole strip of owls. Just, oh, the blues, those blues. And there is a bit of shine there. There's there's some foiling to this one, so you can just sort of see the spatters or the, the, the spattering in the background. The second one has got this sort of treescape. I think that's what it is. Come on. I have no fingernails at the moment. Oh, no, that's cool. Oh, I like that better. Oh, I like that better. So we have here... A repeat of little mini scenes so you've got the trees that sort of go up higher on the right two trees a mountain one tree a little circle one two other trees that look different from the other one the window a little scene a four tree the window which is different from this one and then one that with the trees kind of go up to the left and then it repeats that's really cool 
I like that one. I thought it was just a whole big, like, long repeating scene. But I love that it's all the little ones. And then this one is my favourite. Oh, this one has foil on it too. It's got little snowflakes in front of all of the scenes, which is lovely. Um, but this is gorgeous. You have a gorgeous blue and teal plaid. And it is stunning. I'm so in love with plaid at the moment. Just in a general rule, I cannot get over plaid. I just will not. It is so lovely. That would make one heck of a beautiful card background. Or oh, yeah. Whoops. So they are the washi tapes. Now we can move into the stickers. I don't want to take that one up. I just want to keep staring at it. Uh, so the first one is the sheet. Is the, the two standard sheets. This comes in the standard kit. So you get two of these sheets. So the first one here... You have two little circle scenes. You've got our girl in the middle. You've got this gorgeous floral one at the bottom. And that goes all the way to the edge of the sheet. That's such a beautiful border. Love that. I've got a little squirrel and then some snowflakes. And then on the second page, you've got your numbers, your headers, some sort of important functional ones. So you can track maybe when Into the World came. Your days, your, tea, uh, your melody, um, melody cover. I would love that cover. And then you have some, another sticker down here with the snowflakes. Gorgeous. I love those stickers. I'll tell you one thing. If I got that melody with that inside, I would never stop staring at it. It's so pretty. All right. So then we're moving on to our standard set of papers. So if you get the, the standard kit, this is everything you're going to get. So you get everything you've already seen, plus you're going to get these. So you have six sheets of paper in here. They are double-sided. And then you have a sheet of acetate and a sheet of uh, vellum. So this is the first page with that gorgeous mountain scene and that creek running through the middle. And then on the back of this one, oh, it's watercolour with snow. So it's the normal kind of watercolour pages, I guess, PA, PA do with that sort of dark to light. But it's got uh, like a snow scene splattered all over. I love that. And they're messy snowflakes. I love messy snowflakes. Second one here, you have all of the owls with that gorgeous twinkling blue in the background. And that's got a light sort of snowfall on it as well. And that comes on this gorgeous brown. I just saw the next one though and now I'm having, I'm just too excited. Uh, absolutely stunning. And then you have this. I love that pattern. It's very, um, it feels very Swedish to me. Is that the right? Nordic? No Nordic. Am I going to read the right one? I love it. it. Makes me think of a, a, a like a Christmas jumper. I just love it. So pretty. Love the colours. And then you have that on that gorgeous green. Check those three out together just for a second. How good a collection of colours is that? Oh, pair papers will never stop being amazing. And then oh oh you have to oh sorry I have to freak out about that on its own. So the the vellum you have on this gorgeous mountains uh yeah mountain scene. It does line up. No. Doesn't quite line up. It's very close. That's the closest I've, I've seen in a while. But it does this really cool thing here that you could actually line this up slightly offset and it kind of gives you a 3D effect. How cool is that? Oh. It just, it does. It gives you a bit of a 3D effect and it's very, very, very cool. Oh. Come on. And then do you remember last month how I told you I've never seen PA do coloured <laughs> do coloured acetate before? Well, I've never, ever, ever seen them do white acetate before, which is why it looks like nothing. Oh, I can't even get this to show up properly. I need a piece of black paper. Hold on. Thankfully, I can open my drawer and get every colour of paper known to mankind. <gasps> okay. You guys know, I usually stay away from snow kits because I've never seen snow. Not real snow, I've seen pretend snow. So snow doesn't speak to me the way that I think it should. It is one of those things that I want to experience one day, but I haven't got to it yet. This is the first kit in a while that I've loved like this. I really thought that I wasn't going to love this as much as I'm loving it. Oh my goodness. I just, it is gorgeous. Those snowflakes are amazing. I could seriously stare at this piece of acetate all day long. I, and it's the same on both sides. It's white on both sides. Oh, I just love that. That's amazing. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to just 
you know, continue on before my heart explodes. Uh, so this is the bonus set of papers, not the bonus, the additional paper pack. So this is an extra purchase. You can purchase just the extra paper pack. You can buy, I think you can actually purchase two. Um, and you can have this as an add-on, or you can do what I do and add on the extra paper pack and the sticker book, which I'll show you in just a sec. So in the additional paper pack, oh, okay, I just saw something in there. I'm just going to have my little... So first off, you have this gorgeous treescape, and you have the, the, those little sort of standalones. You've got pine cones in the middle. Oh, that's just the most gorgeous winter scene. I swear I need to keep this for Christmas. And then on the back, you have this really dark brown, uh, dark grey. Uh, it's like a warm grey, and it goes from the dark to the light with that snow. You have a whole page of plaid. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I love that the lines aren't straight. It's not a, it's not a, like a traditional perfection plaid. It's, it's a very dusty one, and it comes on the back of this blue. Oh gosh. I need to check now what I'm bad at, what I have been bad at, I know um, that the digital kits have been going up on Etsy. I need to check if this is available because if it is, I will be printing this till there's no tomorrow. I could make every card for the rest of my life with that piece of paper. And then the last one you have here is the snowflakes. So they're just those gorgeous intricates with the sort of splatter with a very pale blue on the back and it comes on a dark blue on the front. Okay, just... Can you not tell me that that card would be stunning? Like, ew. Killing me here, PA. What are you doing? And then you get, for the, for the um, <laughs> I'm just getting over how mad I sound right now. Uh, for the paper cutter gilt people like me who just can't handle cutting into their paper and their acetate, you do get an extra sheet of both the paper and the acetate, uh, the, the vellum and the acetate in that um in that kit oh my god <laughs> you know when you're just overwhelmed with how pretty something is that's what i'm having right now all right last but not least this is the uh sticker book again this is an additional purchase you can you can add both the paper and the sticker book or just the paper or just the sticker book or you can just buy the sticker book on its own if you are someone that only likes stickers if you only like to decorate your planner with just stickers you can just do that so here is the Into the Wild sticker book. Oh my gosh. So these have foiled silver accents on them, this first page. So you can see you've got the, the snowflakes down the side. You've got the scenes. The girl's got the gorgeous accents there. And you've got this beautiful picture on the bottom with a moment to remember. Two of the wood, uh, wood slices. You've got the husky. That husky has a, fo a silver foiled cushion that he's sleeping on that is plaid. Snowflakes, and then you've got Going Green, Frosty Skies, and By the River are the, the PA tones, which are like the Pantones. That's the joke, in case you didn't get them. You then have a whole page of clear stickers, which have that window plus all of the, not all of, but a bunch of the snowflakes. Would look absolutely stunning. You've got some of those jumpers, or some jumpers. You've got some flowers, and then some of the icons. You have a bunch of the minis. Love the minis. And then you have your four kits for one of a better word um you could i i tend to use one and then i keep the others for you know one day when i stop planning videos on camera and i'll have thousands of weeks that i can do something else with um so this first one has the the bar down the side these are all individual stickers just so you know it's it's i like to stick them down so they all join in together but you don't have to this one's got sometimes we need to get a little lost to find ourselves we've got the days and some boxes the second one is a bit of an homage to that husky. Now, hold on, just going back. This one has silver foil accents. The second one doesn't. The second one's just plain. I love the teal of the, of the beautiful knits there. That would have been beautiful too if you didn't do the watercolours. The knits would have looked stunning. Second one has got all... Third one, sorry, has got all of the snowflakes, again, with the silver foil. And being beautiful is a different... Uh, being different is a beautiful thing. Not being beautiful is a different thing. Boish. And then the last one has this gorgeous snowscape with the, the owl on the top. The artwork in this kit feels different. It's it's moving a little bit, and I love it. It's an evolution. This one feels so realistic, and I'm just, I'm so here for it. It's gorgeous. More snowflakes. These ones are a bit smaller. You've got a smaller one of that die-cut floral arrangement. You've got some spots. You've got some washi strips here. You have your foldable sticker. You have extra 
of the feathers. You've got your functional boxes. I love these boxes. They coordinate with the paper colours in case you didn't notice. And you have some silver um, clear stickers at the back. These have numbers, day off, work, and then some headers. Happy birthday, inspired, love, noteworthy. Days of the week too, if you don't want to use um, anything that comes in here, you can use these ones instead. So there we go, that's the PA uh, Into the Wild kit. Unless you haven't, if, if you're not a member of the PA group and you do have a love for PA, that's maybe not quite as intense and crazy as my love, but you know, close enough. Whoa, lost all the die cuts. Um, I would highly encourage you joining the group. If you have joined or you are in the group, you will know that postage. The new, um, the new factory, new, new factory, the new warehouse is doing a much better job than the old warehouse of keeping up, and is starting to get orders out a lot faster. So I have seen people already getting the pretty posy uh, 2.0. That kit started to land. I'm hoping mine won't be too far away either. But I want to get my my weekly decos and my and my project done with this one before we get there. So I'm hoping I can do that for you in the next few weeks or so. I do have March almost perfectly planned out, which is kind of weird and crazy. Um, but it's going to be a really busy month, so I need to be really, really organised. But if there is something in particular you'd like to see with this kit, please let me know. You can leave it down below or you can find me on any of my socials. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles!